On September 5, 2012, the Giants were coming off their Super Bowl 46 victory by taking on the Dallas Cowboys in a Thursday night Week 1 matchup. Things started off slow, but six minutes into the second quarter, Lawrence Tynes booted a 22-yard field goal to kick things off. The Cowboys eventually turned a new leaf, however, as Tony Romo threw a 10-yard touchdown pass to Kevin Ogletree, giving the boys a 7-3 lead. Tony Romo continued his onslaught, throwing a second touchdown pass to Ogletree, this one for 40 yards, making it 14-3 Dallas. The Giants were trying to get the ball rolling with Eli Manning handing off to Amon Bradshaw for a 10-yard touchdown run, cutting the Dallas lead to four. However, Dallas made a touchdown lead with a 34-yard Dan Bailey field goal making it 17-10 Dallas. The Cowboys made it even harder for the G-Men with Tony Romo throwing a 34-yard touchdown pass to Miles Austin, giving Dallas a two-touchdown lead. Big Blue tried to fight back as Manning threw a nine-yard touchdown pass to Martellus Bennett, cutting the Dallas lead to seven. The Giants needed a stop on a Dallas third down and 10 in order to get the ball back, but failed to do so as that pesky Kevin Ogletree gave the Cowboys a 24-17 victory by getting a first down over the New York Giants at MetLife Stadium. This has been a Turnback Time brought to you by Turnpike Talks.